Hello everyone, in this session I'm trying to cover SAP theme, SAP Fiori theme changes uh, for the logon screen and as well as uh, inside the Fiori launchpad. So before proceeding, let's continue, uh, uh, let's collect a couple of uh, images, for example your corporate business uh, uh, branding images will be there so we can replace those images over here along with SAP logo. So we will change SAP logo here and as well as the background, SAP standard background Fiori uh, background image. And uh, once you log into Fiori, we'll change the Fiori Launchpad uh, custom image as well. So before doing that, we'll see how does the standard screen looks like. So this is a background image, a SAP standard background Fiori image. So we have SAP logo and stuff like that. So let's change SAP theme completely. Uh, we'll, we'll upload some, some, some standard image. In order to do that, let's go to uh, your gateway system. Go to transaction code SE80 and click on MIME repository, the very first first option. And you'll see subfolder and subfolders, subsections here. So expand SAP folder, expand public, expand BC, expand UI2. Just enlarging that and expand logon and expand image. So this is the path. SAP public BC UI2 logon IMG. So under this you'll you'll see all uh, SAP standard images. This SAP underscore logo dot PNG file is nothing but uh, the SAP logo which we have seen on the logon screen. So this one and login underscore background dot JPG is nothing but this flower screen. So before we change this customization part, make sure you have taken those as the backups. So right click on the SAP, let's let's make SAP logo change. So right click on SAP, choose upload or download option and download it. So let's save it in a uh, in temp directory or some other location. Similarly, you also do for SAP log, login underscore, login underscore background or JPG file as well download yes and also login background for mobile download save so these are the uh, different uh, options uh, we need to make sure all these images has been downloaded because uh, the login background and uh, for mobile and for land so these are three different options where we see when once you uh, once your browser is on smartphone and uh, on your tablet or desktop so all these three uh, when we uh, when we when the browser is minimized we need to make sure our standard image has been applied as well <coughs> okay so we have taken the backup of all these images let's upload sap logo Create a transport request. SAP. Let's just an SAP logo description. Say done. And similarly with the login background. Upload and replay. So that is done. So now come back to the browser. Just refresh your screen. As you notice, the SAP logo has also a different logo has been applied here, and the background has been changed. So this is how we change the login screen and uh, its respective uh, logo based upon your requirements. Now let's go back uh, uh, to the Fiori Launchpad Designer. Sorry, Fury Launchpad. 
we would like to change the background image for this one so in order to do that you need to go to the transaction code called let's say n slash n slash ui5 theme underscore designer so it opens in browser So this is a UI theme designer once it opens in a browser. SAP Blue Crystal is the default theme which has been applied. Uh, that's the reason we are seeing uh, this, this theme. Which, this theme is called as SAP underscore Blue Crystal. Now let's change uh, the logo and the background image for this as well. So if you before changing it, uh, let's open the standard default theme which has been applied click on open here so that you can give the URL just as a fury uh, fury URL And just say say it as a home. Click on add. Now the screen loads with all the background image and the tiles to it. So as you can see, this is a standard stuff where you where it has been loaded. Fear launch, but has been loaded. So on your right hand side, you will see all the options for background color, background gradient color, base color, brand color, highlight colors. So these, these are the colors we can change uh, according to our business requirement. So right now, I just, I'll just show you how to change the uh, background image. So As soon as I highlighted logo, so you can see in the previous section here, the SAP logo has been also changed. So similarly, we can also change all different colors like background gradient color and uh, highlight color. So if you change the highlight color to something as a red, you can see in the previous section. brand color let's go to brand color by choosing SAP orange as you can notice the brand color has been changed here as well so you can just play around with all, all other colors uh, and uh, if based upon your uh, you know, branding corporate branding policies you can uh, follow it accordingly you also have uh, multiple options here you can change the theme parameters if button backgrounds all uh, all colors can be you know uh, customized here and if you want to uh, define a new parameter you can also do so and uh, css if this is also can be done if you want to change for example a custom uh, css needs to be added if it is not existing in either of these three parameters um, properties or patterns what we call so you can add a custom CSS as well so once these changes are been done all you can do is uh, go to theme and click on save and build so it says uh, cust it, it, it gives you by default name so either you can change the title or you can re uh, remain as this just click on save and build So the new theme is getting built. So just leave for a couple of minutes. Perfect. So our new custom Blue Crystal theme has been built. Click on OK. And now go back to Fiori Launchpad screen. 
and uh, click on Fiori which is your username and go to user preferences and under theme section you will see SAP Blue Crystal has been selected by default now click on that and you will see the custom Blue Crystal which we just created select that and click on save so we change logo we change the brand color we change the background image as well so this is how we uh, change SAP Fiori themes uh, with the theme designer tool I hope uh, you had a, a good overview on this theme designer so you can play around with multiple uh, colors on that and uh, you can customize your own theming as per your corporate or uh, company requirements I hope you understood uh, perfectly thank you very much